D, wait for it. Wait for it. Check out the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? So I just finished the first two episodes of Hawkeye on Disney Plus, you know, the new Marvel show. Now, I really wasn't going to watch this show because I personally have not liked any of the Marvel TV shows. I just don't think they're any good. Um, but uh, I did see the trailer for this one and I was like, you know what? They hooked me in again and everything. And I have to admit these first two episodes, I actually liked them. I thought they were pretty solid. Um, you know, Hawkeye, I don't, um, you know, he's not like the best Avenger, but I did like this, uh, these two episodes. I, I It was more Kate Kane focused or Kate, Kate Kane, Kate Bishop focused. Yeah. Let's not talk about Kate Kane, but um. I actually did like it. And since they dropped two, normally I would do a breakdown and go through scene by scene or whatnot and just tell you what happens and everything. But for this one, I'm just going to do a review and give you my three things that I really liked from both episodes, episode one and episode two. <clears throat> um, but before I get started, I just want to say that if you like what I do here and you enjoy independent content here on YouTube, please consider subscribing to my channel. YouTube is always changing up their algorithm and small channels like mine always get pushed to the back of the line. So I please ask that you like, share, and subscribe, and I thank you in advance. So why don't we go ahead and get started now? <clears throat> so episode one, I liked this episode. I thought it was very good. Well, both episodes are good, but there's a lot of stuff to say about these episodes. I mean, the acting in these episodes is, is in my opinion, uh, top notch. I, I think that everybody's doing good work here. And uh, especially Haley Steinfeld and uh, Jeremy Renner. And then also uh, Vera Farmia. I love her. She's great. I can't tell you how much I love that woman. Uh, she's, she's, in my opinion, just a great actress. And I, 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 at any time she's in anything, uh, I think that it uh, elevates it, you know, whatever. So the first thing that I really liked about this episode, <clears throat> and probably my favorite part about all both the episodes, is the opening sequence of episode one. We got to see Kate Kane as a little girl, and we got to see her perspective of the attack on New York from the Avengers. Um, I love that movie, The Avengers. I, it's still, I would say, it's probably still in my top five, definitely the top ten of movies, Marvel movies. Um, I'll have to do another ranking sometime soon, but it's it's definitely. Uh, that I love that attack on New York sequence. It's just so good. And I liked seeing the perspective of through uh, Kate Bishop's uh, perspective of that attack. Um, now, uh, I, I know that, uh, and I also, to say some more about that, I really like it when they do connect these movies, these TV shows to the movies and having stuff in there. For instance, <clears throat> now they didn't have a, a scene from the movies, but if you remember in WandaVision, when Monica Rambeau, when she came back from the blip after she got turned into ashes, I really liked that scene a lot. I thought that scene was great, and I really liked seeing this part of this episode slash TV show. I thought it was really, really good, and I liked it a lot. So the second part, uh, the second thing I liked uh, most in this uh, episode was not a necessarily a scene. It was actually a line and it came from Mia for Mia's uh, via for Mia. Gosh, Vera for Mia. Sorry, I'm mixed. I'm taking her name and just putting and meshing it together. Okay, so via for Mia, her character, Kate Kane's, uh, or Kate Kane, I keep calling Kate Bishop's mom. She says the line. <clears throat> At the beginning, she goes, I know that young people think they're invincible and rich people think they're invincible and you have always been both. So take it from someone who hasn't, you're not, and you will get hurt. So don't go around looking for it. I really liked that line a lot. I thought it was great. I really liked that her mom said that uh, just because, you know, I'm, I don't have a thing against rich people, but it is, it is, uh, you know, a different, uh, you know, thought process when you are born rich and you don't know what it's like to, uh, you know, have to pay for stuff and, and, and think about it and budget and all that stuff, you know, like, it's like that mom from, um, oh, what's that show, uh, Arrested Development, when she's like, how much is a banana? Like $10. And it's like, of course you think that way because you don't ever go to the store and buy bananas. You don't know how much that they're really only like 11 cents or whatever, but uh, but yeah, so I really liked that line a lot. And, you know, I, I, it'll be interesting to see how, you know, how, uh, Via Vermeer's character, uh, comes around and stuff, which we'll talk about that 
after we talk about these two. And the last thing I want to talk about is Kate uh, Bishop's fighting sequence in that little wine cellar. First off, I didn't like that they kept destroying that wine, my favorite. Uh, but at the same time, I did like, I liked that whole thing when she had the Ronin costume on and she was beating the those guys up, the, uh, the tracksuit gang, which we'll talk about them in a little bit. But I really did like the action in it. You know, I liked that she... She didn't, you know, I hate in TV shows and in movies where they have a female character and she just starts beating up on all the men and like doesn't get hit and everything. And I liked that. I felt that Kate, she did fight the men and she got hit and she had to use her surroundings to help her out. You know, for instance, uh, she used that car when she grabbed that guy by the neck and she kind of like used the car, uh, you know, to help her out within that fight sequence. And I really, I personally, um, I like it when they take this stuff and they'd be like, and they're just like, listen, uh, uh, you know, 120 pound a female can't just beat up some 240 pound dude. It's not, that's just not how it works, you know? And some of these movies, they just, you know, they just start beating up on dudes and don't get hit. And I don't like that. So I did like that fight sequence. That was my third favorite thing in the episode. So for episode two, also liked this one. I really liked uh, the tracksuit gang. That's my number one. I like them. I love how they kept saying bro. Apparently they do that in the comic books. I've never read the Hawkeye comic books that this is based off of or the Kate Bishop comic books. Um, but uh, I stopped reading uh, Marvel comic books around 2016, 2018, only because it just got to be too much money. They kept doing these big events and crossover stuff. And if you're a comic book reader, you know, when they're, when you're shelling out, uh, you know, four or five bucks for uh, one comic, one, you know, weekly comic, if you buy, you know, if you have to buy like 10 of them a week, you know, it, that stuff starts to, uh, it starts to add up anyways. So tracksuit gang loved it. Love how they kept saying, yeah, bro. Hey, bro. And everything. So good. I loved how they were like incompetent, but at the same time, they got the job done. I liked that and everything. My uh, second favorite thing from this episode was the LARPing scene. I liked that a lot. I am not a LARPer, but I do like that whole world. I like seeing it. I love, you know, the time it takes to put into costumes. I love movies about LARPing, all that stuff. I just love that whole world. I just could never get into it, but I do as a spectator, I like seeing that kind of stuff, um, you know, and I just love the whole theatrics of it and everything. It's so great. Even I, I liked how he didn't want to be there, but he he was respectful of that community and just like, all right, I don't want to be here, but I'll wear your thing. I'll sign your thing and all that good stuff. And I'll play along with your rules. And third, the final thing that I liked, which kind of started in episode one and then kind of went forward in episode two, was I liked the murder mystery. We saw, um, oh, what was his name? Anton? Was No, Anton? Edward? Mm, I forgot the character's name and I didn't write it down in my notes, but um, I liked how we seen him. We see him fight with Vera, for, Vera Formia's character um, and then um, he was dead. And then I liked how... Um, stepdad swordsman he went to hand her that that uh butterscotch that was uh, that had his name and everything and she thought he did it i don't think he did it and we'll talk about that in just a second because there's some things that i want to talk about after this but i love that it's now a murder mystery and we can play along hopefully we can play along one thing that really annoys me with the murder mysteries if they do this is they set up all this stuff but they never show you how you could be the winner of the murder and figure it out by yourself at home. And I always enjoy that kind of stuff. But if they don't do that, I'll be a little bit annoyed. So some other things that I want to talk about with these two episodes and the show going forward is um, I like there. So they're trying to set up that the swordsman, the stepdad guy, and I didn't write down his name either. And I should have, man, um, is that he, uh, they're trying to make him out to be the bad guy. We all know he's not the bad guy. We know he's not the bad guy. It's Vera Formia's character because they're trying to set her up as like a victim kind of thing. And I think that what's going to happen is she's going to be all like, you're, they're going to try to do the sympathetic bad guy thing. I hope they don't do that because I hate when they do that. I, bad guys are not here to be, you know, sympathetic towards. They're bad guys. So just make them bad guys and that's it. But I do, I do think they're, they're heavily uh, trying to set up that the swordsman guy is uh, the villain and it's really uh, Vera Formia's character. She, the uh, Lady Mask. And I hope we do get to see her as Lady Mask um, sometime in this. And I do hope we get to see her fight, you know, um, 
because uh, yeah, she does. She is a fighter in the comic books. All right. One other person that we got to see was at the very, very end was Echo. Now this uh, character is going to get its own show on Disney plus. Um, and I just hope that, uh, you know, she's cool. I'm not, I don't know very much about this character just because I didn't read those comic books. I do know that she is Wilson Fisk, AKA the Kingpin's uh, adopted daughter. So I, it'll be interesting to see where her character goes further on in the story and just, you know, how she plays out and get to see her fight and all that good stuff. I do hope we see more Easter eggs like we got to see in this one, uh, you know, with Pete's the dog, all that good stuff, although he is a part of the comic books um, and everything. Uh, I just hope we get to see more. And then um, I one last thing I want to know is the watch. What was up with that watch? What was so great about it? I mean, is it, you know, I personally, the, my theory is this is what I'll, I'll do. My theory is, is that it's um, it's like a map of some, I say map because I don't know, but it's like a, it's a MacGuffin that will lead us to something bigger, you know, like maybe like a treasure or like a, a you know, a, a person or something that will, it will lead us to something later on in the episode. And I hope uh, I'm right. If not, you know, it happens. All right, you guys. So that is my review of these two episodes. Next week, I'll do a breakdown and review of the full episode and everything. We'll go through the whole episode and everything. Uh, but tell me, what did you guys think about this episode? Did or these two episodes? Did you like these two episodes? Like me, I thought they were great. Uh, if the, if it continues on this path. This will be the only Disney Plus show, Marvel Disney Plus show that I like. But uh, I did like, I really did like both these episodes. I thought they were great. So tell me what you guys thought about them. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Who was your favorite character? Um, are you happy that it was more Kate Bishop centric or are you kind of bummed that it wasn't more Hawk, uh, more uh, 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 Clint Barton centric? Uh, but we'll see as it goes forward. Go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go and hit that like button. You know I won't mind if you're my channel. Please hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. I will see you guys next week on my breakdown and review of Hawkeye. You guys have a good week. Bye.